guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. Today's unboxing is Lemonade Box for February 2024. So Lemonade Box is a wellness subscription. Often it contains quite a lot of beauty products, but sometimes we do see other items as well. And every month you get five to six items worth at least £60. The subscription is 25 a month if you sign up for like a monthly rolling subscription or less if you sign up for longer. And you can get 25% off your first box using my code. All the products inside are cruelty free and you also get a month's worth of free therapy as well when you sign up which is a pretty amazing deal so today we're going to unbox the subscription you can see they've actually changed the box a little bit the blue is the same as the regular box but they've now put a sticker on that says lemonade box which i quite like it was like a kind of slip um before i like what they've done with the box so in today's video we're going to unbox the whole subscription i'm going to show you everything in this box then you can decide if it's a subscription worth picking up for you so this box is kindly sent to me in order to unbox it but as usual you get my honest opinions when i do all my unboxings so let's dive right in so this month's edit contains five products and they are worth in total 71 pounds and the box theme is self-love season which makes perfect sense um, for this time of year, for February. Inside the box there is also a QR code and if you scan the QR code you will get to access subscriber exclusives such as the month of free therapy with BetterHelp, exclusive offers and you can also view your monthly wellness routine. So basically they put all the products into a bit of a routine so you know how best to kind of use them. So that's good. We also have a mission for February and it says welcome to the February mission after what feels like the longest month of the year we're now in the shortest and this month we're focusing on your wellness routine. And it says a little bit more than that if you want to pause and read it all. So this is all about sort of building a nice healthy routine. I like the fact that they always have a mission every month because it kind of gives you something else to sort of do and focus on in like a positive way as well as the goodies that you're going to get. So the first product this month is from Earth Harbour. We've had a few Earth Harbour products in this subscription box before but not this specific one. This one is the Laguna Replenishing Body Serum. It's plant-based, no GMOs, cruelty-free, vegan, fair trade, sustainable, no gluten added, no soy added, woman owned and small batch made. It's as ready for skin respiration and intercellular energy while delivering deep nourishment, hydration and a gorgeous luster to your skin. Enjoy the exquisite aroma reminiscent of a fresh floral breeze as your skin absorbs it and this is worth £22. It's got a nice kind of fresh scent to it and it is just a really lightweight oil so it feels kind of easy to work with which is good whereas some oils can be a little bit heavy and hard to absorb into the skin. Obviously, it's even better if your skin is wet when you apply it, sort of straight after the shower, that kind of thing. It's as a bottle of glistening maritime bliss. It's a tantalising blend of pure botanical oils, including blue yarrow, marine algae, coconut, rosehip and primrose. It delivers deep nourishment, hydration and a gorgeous luster to your sweet skin. Then we've got some hand masks from Skimono. I've used the foot masks before, but not the hand ones. Sorry, it's given off major reflection. So these are basically gloves that you wear that have got a serum in there to moisturise your hands. So these are worth £10. It says a revitalising serum enriched with shea butter, aloe vera and hyaluronic acid in an innovative hand mask. It works to eradicate dryness, restore softness and refine the skin on your hands. Protect your hands from the cold winter air. Next, we've got a product from Murad. And this is the Dynamic Ultimate Moisture. I don't think I've used this before. It's kind of harder to tell because it is a smaller size, whereas if it was a full size, I feel like I'd recognise it if I'd used it before. It's in a 7.5ml or 0.25 fluid ounce size. So this is what it looks like. It's got like a nice kind of airy texture to it. It says luxurious yet lightweight cream with advanced hyaluronic acid technology, which provides 24 hour hydration, restores suppleness and visibly reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles to give skin a youthful texture. And that is worth £11. Then we've got a couple of makeup products. The first is from Jekka Black and this one is Brow Seal. It's worth £14. I think it's a full size. It says a brow seal is an essential step for holding hairs in place with a silky smooth application that lasts for up to 24 hours. Waterproof, comfortable to wear and non-flaky for perfect application. One swipe provides a flexible hold. Let's have a look at this. So like a lemon, I've already put on a brow product. I don't know why, because I had looked at what was in the box, so I did know what was going on. Um, so I should not have done that. Oh well, must do better. So this is what the packaging itself looks like. So I like the look of the brush on this. It's more like a kind of comb than sort of, you know, those ones that have like a mascara type brush on. This one looks like it's going to be a bit better 
um, hopefully at setting my brows, but we will see. I've not really seen uh, brow products like that before, so that really appeals. I'm always on the hunt for the perfect brow product because I'm not one of these people that can naturally do my brows. Like my whole brow routine is somebody shapes them once every kind of six weeks and then I basically brush them through with a brow gel because I find if I sort of colour them in, I've had it done for me and it looks amazing when it's done right. When I do it, it looks like a five-year-old has applied your makeup. So instead of making myself look worse, I just tend to go with a simple brush through. So today I've literally just brushed them through with um, another product, the Benefit one I think it was. Anyway, the Jekyll Black product is an eyebrow gel and it's vegan and cruelty free and made in the UK and this is a 12ml or 0 0.40 fluid down size. So that's quite a big size I think for a brow gel. So it's likely to um, last a very, very long time. It's probably, you're probably going to need to throw it out for hygiene reasons months later before you're going to need to replace it because you've run out, if you know what I mean. That's a really weird way of explaining it. I think you know what I mean. The final product this month is from Bella Pierre Cosmetics and this is the Lip Gloss in Shade Runway. It's worth £14 and again it's a full size. It says the super gloss range are non-sticky highly pigmented lip glosses that offer a high coverage and deliver unbeatable silkiness and shine. Perfect for application over your favourite lipstick or alone as a standout shade. It is 3.6ml or 0.12 fluid ounce and it is cruelty free. That's what it looks like. So it's quite a kind of pinky shade. With lips slightly parted, draw lip outline with applicator tip, then fill in empty space with a smooth, thin layer. Very specific. So that was this month's lemonade box. Let me know in the comments what you think of this collection of products. I am pretty happy with it actually. I'm trying to think of like the products that I'm most excited for. Probably the Murad moisturiser because that looks quite appealing. I probably do need a hand mask this time of year. In fact, no, I think I might be most excited for the brow gloss um, or brow seal as it's called. Why would it be brow gloss? Could you imagine that? Just like shiny brows? Well, maybe. Um, yeah. And the body serum, maybe I need to use because um, I'm actually going away in a couple of weeks and I'm starting to think, oh, my legs are going to be out soon. So maybe I should pay extra attention and maybe that gloss is the right kind of product to use it. I think definitely, like I said, maybe in the shower after you've just had a shower and your skin's still wet, might be a great time to sort of apply that serum. It doesn't sort of, I don't know, it does leave a subtle scent. Um, yeah, my hand feels quite smooth and it has dried down, like my hand doesn't feel oily or anything, but I guess with an oil, less is more, I wouldn't put too much on. Um, I'd sort of go slowly with it. But yeah, so maybe that's something I need to kind of tune into this month. Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Don't forget the link and discount code if you do want to go ahead and order a box. I really hope you've enjoyed watching the video and I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing and I love all of your support. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.